Yeah, I know. I know, let's get into it. So, I know I said I was gonna give you guys books that I have on my shelf that I haven't read. Technically, I'm still giving that to you, but my October TBR form. So not like generally speaking, but like, come on, it's full time. You're not gonna want anything else. I'm giving you a portion of that, so let's get started. I have, this October, I plan on reading like any type of romance, plus like psychological thrillers, thrillers, you know, that type of stuff. I'm gonna start off with like the, not so much fall, but like more so on the romance side, minus the thriller. Okay, two of these are like rereads. Let's start with romance. I have to reread It Ends With Us, because as we all know, It Starts With Us comes out this month. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So what I want to do is reread this, so that way I, I don't think I forgot anything, because this is one of my favorite books, but like, I'm gonna reread it again because I think I should just so I could smoothly transition into it starts with this so it's that <laughs> then oh this is gonna be an interesting month reading Colleen I have like three books from her that I need to read or Jesus <sighs> then we have reminders of him I have to read that this month as well I'm kind of scared we all know this. I think I said this in one of my other video, one of my other two videos. We have reminders of him. The next one, you guys know this one too because I talked about it in my first. I think my first two, but definitely my first video, um, the Falling Girls. I heard this was a thriller. I'm not 100 percent sure, but we'll see. I'm still gonna read it because I really want to know what this book holds within itself. You know. So I'm going to read this, this fall. Watch me not even read half of these things. There's so many books that I have that I want to read this, this freaking fall. There's some that I don't physically have, so I have to go, hold on. Give me a second. I want to read Full Tilt. That has been dusting on my TBR since I first started reading, which was like two years ago. Like when I first started reading again, I had put this on my TBR because I saw Shelly reading about it. And then more, like, a lot of other people, and they were like, they were so sad, and that, I had just finished, like, A Thousand Boy Kisses, so I was like, I cannot, I cannot go from that to this, I couldn't do it, so, it's just been sitting there. Oh, The Brown Sisters, The Brown Sisters Trilogy, I want to read Get a Life, Chloe Brown, <laughs> Take a Hint, Danny Brown, uh, and actor age, Eve Brown. Yeah, I want to read those so bad. First of all, I want those books in my hand because they look so cute. Like, the covers are so cute. And, first of all, we got some black female characters. Now, you know I'm in for a good black female character. I already said it starts with us. So, it starts with us. And I think that's it for, like, you know, the romance not-so-serious side. Now. I, my friend bought me this book because she's so sweet. Thank you, Kayla. She bought me this book um, when it, the day it came out, actually, because I didn't order it because I'm poor. Yeah, I'm poor. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was just going to get it like another time. But she said she saw it in like Target. So I was like, please get it for me. I will vomit if you get it for me. And she did. I have Verity once again. I have the original copy, but like, if you see this, get into it. With an exclusive chapter, I must know. I must know. Yes, I'm gonna be nosy. I must know. I, it's killing me, actually, that I'm happy. I have this in my room, in my vicinity, and I have yet to peek at the freaking exclusive chapter. I can't do that. What I want to do is read this whole book over and go into, ease into the extra chapter. But I'm, I, I, I can't just go into there. I might lose it and actually just skip the whole story and look at it. But I can't, I can't do that. This is what it looks like. I like the black. This is sexy. I don't know why her face had to just be, be there. <laughs> I mean, I know she's the author, but God, God, I didn't want... They have another one, I think, without her face there. It's just, it's just, what do I look like in public? Like, I feel like that's so awkward. That's such a big me. 
the silent patient i'm definitely reading this i have to um i need to know what happens so hey this is definitely um i'm definitely one i definitely read this i need to read it i need to i'm nosy i need to know what happens like i need to know what happens it just seems so interesting. Like, did she kill her husband? Did she not? What is the twist? That's what I want to know. What is the freaking twist? Seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Yeah, I'm gonna read this. Definitely this. Um, fall. First of all, this cover gives me very much Great Gatsby. Like, that's what it gives me, and I love the Great Gatsby. And I know it's nothing like. It's probably nothing like Great Gatsby, but like, it just gives me that vibe. Like that time frame like i'm just so excited to read this it seems so good so definitely reading this i just got this as a gift so i need to i want to read this because i heard that like i tried to look up what it's about it doesn't really give you i think that's so interesting like why is tiktok deciding that this series you just have to read it to find out which i mean i guess yeah all books you have to do that but you know like when you're going into something you research a book well at least that's what i do i go on tiktok i research a book see if i want to read it then i buy it if it seems good enough for me to buy and usually i'm right see i didn't buy these i had no say and i'm so thankful for them because they've been sitting on my tbr the same amount of time as full tilt it doesn't really give you much on the back either like it's very vague but the covers are amazing looking i think it's a love story but like anyway <laughs> there's a flock exodus and then the finish line so we have all three of these yeah <laughs> the very good series so I can't wait to read these. I'm not gonna lie. At first of all, I love the way they feel. I love this matte. I think this book has it too. Yeah, but it's like this matte finish. I love books like that. And just, I just, and the artwork inside of it. I love when books do that too, though. So I'm excited to read this series. I'm actually kind of scared because I don't know what to expect. Now, don't get mad at me, okay? I may explain to you why this is also on my TBR because I stopped buddy reading it. From that alone, you should know. But I stopped buddy reading this mainly because I need. I wanted. I feel like we rushed going into it because I was so excited to read it. And don't get me wrong, what I read so far, amazing, ten out of ten. I did not have the attention span anymore. I guess I kind of just fell out of it, and I mainly fell out of it because our group like. Two of them are in school. I'm not in school, but like two of them are in school and they're busy. And then I got into these moods where I just didn't want to read every day. And I'm still kind of like doing that now. But like, anyway, what I'm trying to say is I want to be in the right mind space, the right head space to sit down and read this alone. Not reading any other books at the same time. I just want to give it its own time and put as much effort into reading this one alone by itself when I'm ready and it will be soon I don't know if it's gonna be this fall it might be who knows because I've sent 10 hundred million other books to read but I need to give it its own time Brie Brie needs her own her own time okay but it was so good so far I love how I love the writing the writing the writing style 10 out of 10 she's and I don't care about none of those boys right now. Well, from what I read. I didn't care about any one of those boys. I know that I just loved Brie, yeah. So we have Legendborn. I will be reading this either sometime soon or even in the winter. I'm going to give her all the time she needs. Maybe before the second book comes out. Because doesn't it come out in like November? Blood March? Yeah. I'm going to give it its time of day. So it's so good though. Look at the cover. It's just so beautiful. And I don't have any more like physical books that I want to read, but I have like a few other thrillers. Sick fucks. I heard this was really. This is the same that wrote A Thousand Boy Kisses. The same girl who wrote th A Thousand Boy Kisses. I'm just not looking who this is by. Tilly Cole. Yeah, I'm reading that. I heard it's very. 
I don't I don't know. I heard that it was very sick. Like it was crazy. So I definitely want to read that. Rock, paper, scissors. I feel like everybody and their mother is reading that, but I really want to read it. This fall. Okay, in this in, in, in October. Thank you. I me and my friends went thrifting the other day and I saw this book just lying there. Cause you know I'm gonna I'm gonna gravitate to the book section. So I saw it. It's called Never Tell by Lisa Gardner. And it seems very interesting. Like, very interesting. Oh my god, this is like a- is it a series? Is it interconnected? Well, it says number 10. I'm not reading 10 other books, but I will read this one. It says, a man is dead, shot three times in his home office, but his computer has been sh shot 12 times, and when the cops arrive, his pregnant wife is holding the gun. Dee Dee Warren arrives on the scene and recognizes the woman, Evie Carter, from a case many years back. Evie's father was killed in a shooting that was ruled an accident, but for Dee Dee, <laughs> Dee Dee, sorry, two coincidental murders is too many. Floral Dane sees the murder of Conrad Carter on the TV news and immediately knows his face. She remembers a night when she is a victim, a hostage, and her captor knew this man. Overcome with guilt that she never tracked him down, Flora is now determined to learn the truth of Conrad's murder. But Dee Dee and Flora, Flora are about to discover in this case the truth is a devilish elusive thing as layer by layer they peel away the half truths and outright lies they wonder how many secrets can one family have i'm intrigued it caught my eye when i read the little slip i think the slip inside was different but there you go you get the gist of that i think that's it wow that was quick we're done comment down below what's on yours because Comment down below what's on your freaking TBR because I want to know and I might take some of your books. So give it to me. I like romance, psychological thrillers, any type of thrillers really. Anything that's going to make me think, make me cry. Yeah, I want it. Or make me go, oh, that's nasty. Make me cringe a little bit. I want it. Give it to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like what other type of videos you guys want i have like a list in my phone but like i have to be in the mood to do some of them so i just want to know what you guys i'm trying to be i'm trying to give you guys what you want but also post what i want but like it would be nice to have some of that come in you know just you know yeah babe just give it to me i hope you enjoyed bye guys like comment subscribe see you next week